Well, here it is. It's uh, mid-April of uh, 2024, and I got the 1940 Farmall H in the shop here, and I'm currently doing quite a few updates. Um, doing everything from uh, I put new new fenders on the the H. These I bought from a company called uh, Reliable. Uh, they're an aftermarket uh, fender. They're uh, just like the original ones, and I'm real happy with the quality of them. Uh, they came primed, so eventually I'll have to paint these when I do the whole tractor. I also got the uh, the mounting kits for them, and uh, those bolted right on. I did keep the fenders in a little bit because I want to be able to get at that grease fitting on the axles. So uh, we got that those all mounted, and uh, they came out really good. Um, the other thing I did back here for the three-point mount, the uh, hydraulic hoses on here were approximately about eight foot long. So uh, I had a couple of shorter hoses and I rerouted them just to get them. They were draped all the way back here over the three point mount. And uh, it really wasn't too safe. It uh, was kind of cumbersome with the extra hose length. So uh, we updated that. I'm currently in the process of uh, updating the wiring. Uh, you can see I got everything tore off the, <laughs> all the wiring tore off the tractor. There's what's left of it on the floor. And we'll go to the other side of the tractor now. I'm, I'm in a, a state here where I got a lot of things apart. <laughs> got the distributor apart. I'm putting new points and everything in there. Got a little hour meter I mounted on the, the side there just to keep track of the hours on the, the H. Um, I did purchase uh, a 12 volt conversion kit uh, from a fellow, I believe he's in uh, Minnesota. Uh, his name is Charlie. Uh, his website name is Charlie's Repair. And uh, everything mounted up real nice. I did have to slot the holes on the mounting bracket because I drive a hydraulic pump off the uh, alternator pulley. So I needed a double uh, pulley on the alternator so I made that pulley and uh, in having two belts on there I had to be able to shove the bracket uh, back a little bit to get lined up with the uh, water pump pulley that drives the alternator so uh, I did make the pulley that's driving the hydraulic pump a little bigger just to get me a few more RPMs on the pump here and uh, I'm not sure what the name is of this pump. Uh, the tag is, uh, the rivets have been removed and I don't know the manufacturer of it. But uh, it's a real nice pump. Uh, seems to work real well. Um, the output of the pump goes up to a power steering unit on the steering shaft. And then it goes from there up to the valve and uh, then down to the cylinder for the uh, three-point hitch. So in here you can see a good look of how I got the shorter hoses on there now. Uh, in the process of putting all brand new gauges on this, I do have a new uh, bracket that mount holds the gauges. I gotta, I gotta back that power steering uh, pump or uh, unit back and uh, put the new bracket on pull the steering shaft apart and get it through the mounting hole so trying to clean up the wiring here uh, should be a lot simpler than it was uh, one thing that's nice with Charlie's repair is it comes with a new uh, 12 volt coil 
that has the resistor built right into it and uh, that's gonna save quite a bit of wiring and then also the the Denso alternator which is one of those minis uh, hopefully it tucks up under the hood um, that has a built-in regulator it's a it's a single wire alternator so uh, excited to see how that works but yeah we're uh, right in the middle thought I would just give a little update on what I've been uh, doing to the H I did put a new uh, uh, crankshaft to water pump drive belt on the the tractor why I was in there with the belts I figured it was a good time to put it on the the belt that was on there did show some uh, separation and, and that but it's such a big belt I, I think it probably would have been fine but uh, figured why I had things apart I would update it and I, I did put a new gas tank on this that I purchased and uh, it was very clean inside but I did leave um, I had put in when I was running my temporary tank I did put in an inline uh, fuel filter I did leave that in just till I run a few tank fulls through the um, new tank just to get everything cleaned out good um, so yeah we're just working away at getting getting the wiring all done on this and uh, plan on using this this summer to do some brush hogging and uh, I have a six foot finishing mower that's working out real well on this and uh, so hope uh, hope you enjoy the videos and uh, thanks for watching I truly appreciate it bye for now I did want to mention one other update I'm going to be making to the H is uh, I do have a, a leak on the uh, packing for the water pump and uh, the packing nut is screwed all the way in and uh, I still can't get it. It's got a slight drip to it. But uh, I decided when I take this all apart, I'm going to put a new water pump on it. And this uh, water pump I purchased from Steiner Tractors. And uh, it's got all updated bearings and seals in it. Still operates and looks just like the original. But it doesn't have the, uh, the drive uh, bolts that have the posts on them that come out to like a cross piece that drive the uh, impeller pump. So this, this has all updated seals in it and uh, quite anxious to see how this works. Still has the adjustable shiv for the, the belt tension on the, the water pump and uh, has, still has the pulley for the alternator. And the other thing I did purchase with this is uh, they have a Steiner sells a, a hose kit that comes with the four hoses. I will be updating that lower hose uh, to the original steel pipe with the two rubber hoses on it. So uh, that's once I get the wiring done, then I'll go and work on uh, getting this water pump in. So. Uh, just wanted to add that little update to the video too. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.